I live in the UK and it does rain quite a fair bit here. But perhaps the best thing after the rain, sometimes you get to see a rainbow. So rainbows has all been seen as something mystical and magical. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about the science behind it. So in early religions, there was a lot of talk about rainbows. And for instance, the Greek thought that the rainbows were messages from the gods. Perhaps the most uh, common one and the one that everyone knows from mythology is what the Irish say, that there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, which is guarded by a leprechaun. Well, of course, you're never going to get there because first of all, everyone sees a different rainbow and rainbows, there's no end to it because they are circles. So that's exactly what a rainbow is. It is an optical illusion. So when do you actually get to see a rainbow? Well, there's a couple of conditions that you need to have. First of all, the sun needs to be behind the viewer. Then the sun also needs to be relatively low in the sky. And I will explain why that angle is very important. And there needs to be rain, fog or something else, some kind of water droplets in front of the viewer in order to reflect the light. First of all, I need to present two important facts about light. Now, first, you have to go back to the formula of Einstein E is mc squared and c stands for the speed of light. So we know that's the faster that light can move in vacuum or in air. In fact, this is the fastest that anything can move at all. But it doesn't always move at this speed. When it goes from different media, such as for instance water or glass, it actually slows down. So imagine when you're kind of diving under the water, you will also see that the light is refracted in a different way. So we have to bear that in mind if light passes through something and for instance a water droplet as you would get in case of a rainbow, actually the speed will change. The second thing you need to know is the light that we can see from the sun, that's what we call white light. And it's actually not white, but it's composed of a lot of different colors. So all the colors that we would have in the rainbow, such as red, blue and yellow. Now all of them, they have different characteristics. So we call them, they have different wavelengths. And actually, because they have a different wavelength, they will react differently when they get in touch with a raindrop, for instance, which I will explain a bit later. Well, there are other types of lights as well, such as ultraviolet or infrared, but we can ignore this for now because we'll only talk about the light that you can visually see, so the visible light with your eye. So these water drops, they act like prisms. So it means that they will reflect the light and they will shoot it back at different angles, varying between 40 and 42 degrees. And that means that they will separate the light into these different components, so these different wavelengths. So if the angle at which the light hits the drop is correct, some of the light that will enter the drop will be internally reflected. So it will undergo refraction again when it goes back from water to air. Now, sometimes you can even get this refraction process twice, which is why you might be able to see a double rainbow where the colors are inverted. In order to see this effect, you can't just have one droplet. So it's got to be many different droplets of them. And you will see that if you have different wavelengths, which will travel at different speeds, they're also being reflected back at different angles. So here you can see there's about two, deg two degrees difference in angle between the red and the violet. And if you happen to be standing in the right place, you will see this spectacular phenomena and you will see the light as a colorful rainbow. So this explains the science behind the rainbow. If you're interested in other videos about the science of everyday things, such as for instance coffee or Lego, then please have a look at this recommended playlist.